Okay, next step is to do our Verigram map. So in Micromine it's pretty simple, you come in, stats, semi Verigram map. Here we have this with the gold, which we're going to look at. We'll just start, start at a, a basic zero, no overlap. A 25 lag interval, 15 lags, no overlap. Okay, so we're just starting straight on flat. I'm doing a natural log transform here. It being a relatively nuggety gold deposit, it tends to have a um, need a little bit of natural log transform to make any anything out of it. Um, okay, so then we hit here and we let it process. Okay, and this is our basic run of the mill variogram map and plan projection. So I'll just create a new over here. Up with me. Okay, so split it off so we can see the composite files and the Verigram map here. And now they've put this little little button in here, which aligns the view of VizX with the Verigram map. So we can immediately see, just without any orientation, we have got a low zone coming through here, parallel the drill holes, and a zone through here, which is a parallel the strike. Now we can play around with some of these drags to your sliders see if we can't get a bit of a more of a tighter look at it pretty too much bit of overlap yeah, so you can start to see this this trend through here just parallel to this sort of direction through here is pretty good so we can it's not parallel to any drilling so immediately we know that there's a, a bit of an idea that there's something coming through there so we'll Paired that and go to the next. So now it will cut a slice through the deposit in this angle, and you can see here. So we'll have to when we but now that we're looking in that angle, we can oh, try to get some bit of an idea here. A bit fill out the room a bit. Um, now you can see there's a very strong one. Something coming through here. If we align our map we can immediately see that what we're picking up here is this trend coming through here you can see the drilling trend through here and that's coming through in this this low in this zone here this is a pretty good definitive one sometimes we actually see what we see here is this line um, looks as good as this but that's a pretty good good one so we'll do that match the same hit it off off we'll go for the next one alrighty so now we've gone we've created our, our strike now across dip so all this is looking at we've got a plan a plane that we can look at normal to so we can align it okay come out here a little bit and okay, now this here seems to be a bit of a mess um, we might have to do some juggling of overlaps and then see if we can't bring out a pattern. And almost immediately you see this strong low coming through here, which is the drill hole direction. So if you were using something like a supervisor, you'd get contours. So these points, these little squares, are really just lag. There's a sector, which is up here, number of directions, and these are the lag lines, which you can see here with the little thing. So each square is a variance for X number of lags via direction. And you can see this very strong one here, in here. Like I was saying, Supervisor will try to map that as your lowest direction of continuity. We've got something that seems to be coming through here. It's not extremely clear, but you can see that we've got a pretty good thing coming through there. And sometimes sliding these around a little bit will help sort of clean, clean that up a little bit. but. you can sort of see that it's coming through at this angle here and that matches this really nicely so we'll grab that as the angle through like that alrighty so we've gone give it a little tick so we finalize it we can calculate the true make sure that it's all fully calculated out as opposed to just approximate directions 
that won't change much. It just just finalises the dip and dip direction and the strike of the uh, of the data. Okay, so then what we do is we calculate a variogram control model. Move your map to. Okay, and then I'll just go and I'll write those axes that we've picked out as the x, y, z. Okay, and in my next video, I'll show you the next step.